Howdy folks, this is a build video for the RC rescue boat uh, and I'll go through all the materials and dimensions um, and how I put it together. Now the basic frame is made from electrical conduit, PVC tube, 20 millimeter outer diameter. You can buy it in a four meter length for a few dollars, not very expensive at all. And as you can see, I probably only used three meters of it. So that's the basic frame. You'll also need some 90 degree uh, angled joiners, four of them, and T-piece joiners as well. And there's four of them for this particular design. You can come up with your own design, own configuration. There are probably lots of different configurations that are going to work. Now the flotation is an EPP pool noodle. They're also very cheap. We get them from Kmart for three dollars at the moment. Outer diameter is 70 millimeters. Inner hole is about 23 millimeters, and that just slips over the PVC pipe to form the flotation. Now the dimensions of the pieces that I've cut. So this piece here is 38 centimeters. Two of them. The overall length of the pontoon is 84 centimetres. The front piece is 40 centimetres. The centre piece is 18 centimetres. And the rear piece is 20 centimetres. The front 5 centimetres and the rear frame is about 14 centimetres. Now my motors came from uh, a tricopter, a David Vinderstahl style tricopter or RC Explorer, including these beautiful square carbon fibre uh, arms and I have actually mounted the motors on one of those carbon fibre arms. You could easily use a piece of timber. I've mounted the motors on that arm using little clamp style mounts. Two discs with two, two bolts, they just slide either side of the mounting bar and clamp down and that holds the motor nice and tight. The ESCs are just encased in um, bicycle tube rubber and I've just taken the ESC and slipped it into the rubber no glue or anything at this stage I don't think I need it and then just pinched up the ends using a cable tie pulled it really tight and a couple of cable ties on each end and that's enough just to keep the keep them splash proof and they don't seem to overheat in here I have three motors, two forward thrust motors and one reverse thrust motor. Now the first step was to put the frame together. I used a metal hacksaw to cut the pieces of PVC pipe to, to length and that's very, very easy to cut. Like that. And you just need to get rid of the dags off the outside. And for joining uh, the corner pieces and T pieces together. It's just, a, just the other end of the tube. I'll give that as an example. We use the PVC cement. This is gooey stuff, drips everywhere. So just be careful with it. So you just paint. Oh, there it is dripping. <clears throat> paint it on one on the inner part and just put it in nice and quickly and within a few seconds that will be jammed tight. Never get it apart. There it is there, that's already already locked in place. And another uh, mod I made was to curve the, uh, the bows up a little bit on each side and also cut a flat wedge out of the front of the foam as well. And that just helps to keep the bows up out of the water. Now to make that bend I used a heat stripping paint gun um, and I just applied heat. Takes, takes a little while. And when it starts getting soft, I just pushed it down using this sanding block here, which is about, what is it, 25 millimeters high. It's starting to bend now. Hold the main part of it down flat. And then you just hold it in position for uh, 30 seconds or so and it'll set like that curved up there we go there's a curved up bow so 
so that now keeps that that bow up above the surface of the water so that it cuts through nicely now the next step was to uh, fit the pool noodles flotation uh, now I've kept that solid in the front part I put a slice down this part here so that I could get it around these uh, cut a little bit of a hole and I've actually scooped out a little bit of, bit of foam inside there to fit around this T piece so now I can put that on and it fits around those upright pieces there and then I had another little piece at the end I don't know if this is the best idea if I put the slice all the way going down um, I would be able to have a continuous bottom but this is the way I did it to start off with and then these are just cable tied to hold them in position and I needed double sized cable ties to fit and that's the flotation side of it and now the top deck and I've just cut that to fit I've just cut out a couple of slots and, and bent the tab down so that I can cable tie onto that and they fit either side of the upright the rear upright I've just made it a little bit wider and that all just gets cable tied on put a cable tie around here I've actually sloped it down a little bit towards the back so the water uh, runs off in theory and I've drilled holes to cable tie onto the uh, front cross member as well go all the way around securing that on the motors I used are Turnigy uh, 28 22 14 1450 kV the ESC's uh, that I've used are Afro 30 amp uh, two opto and one with a BEC so that only one ESC is uh, providing power to the receiver but you could use whatever you've got uh, these motors are plenty powerful enough you could use smaller motors bigger motors it's up to you whatever you've got spare ESC uh, whatever suits the motor really here are my three motors clamped onto the uh, carbon fiber square bar uh, using those little uh, clamp style mounts three ESC's all encased in um, bicycle tube rubber cable tied on each end to keep them splash proof power and control wires all long enough so that they'll reach around into the uh, plastic food container so now we can fit the motors and they fit in underneath there Again, just held on with cable ties. And to make sure it's not going to slip around once I get the angles right, I also tape that bar. Make sure my thrust angle is good. Pretty much straight is all I did. A couple of bits of tape on there. And then it's just a matter of routing, uh, holding these ESCs out of the way of the props with more cable ties. More holes drilled in the deck to um, secure them down. Then I picked up a food container that's big enough to fit the battery in and I used a soldering iron to uh, melt a hole in the side here small as possible to fit all the wires through connect up our three-way uh, power distribution cable connect up our receiver now to hold the um, food container on I just have some rubber bands I just cable tied those two together and that holds the container on two of those another one there now to splash proof this hole all I did was wrap some electrical tape around these tight these wires 
nice and tight. Pass that into the hole and then I just use this uh, gaffer tape just to seal up that hole. Probably better ways to do this, but rough and ready, it's going to work. There we go, that's pretty much it.